Micromax has launched the Canvas 5 in India. The Canvas 5 marks the flagship of the Canvas series of phones by Micromax. We've got the unit with us and we're going to do a quick unboxing and a brief hands-on with the handset. So let's uh, start with the outer packaging of the phone first. As you can see, there's a prominent Micromax logo up top and Canvas 5 branding on the front as well. There's a sticker that says uh, an ATL double data offer, which basically means that you'll get double the data on 4G and 3G when you use this smartphone for a specific period of time. Let's move to the right hand side then. There is a seal over here that we've already opened up, um, which is basically, yeah, it's going to be sealed tight on your retail unit. On the left hand side, there's nothing really going on. The bottom of the phone uh, spots the uh, IMEI codes and uh, there's the pricing information on top. So the, uh, as you see, there's nothing really special about the packaging over at the back. As you would expect, you've got all the specifications listed out. Uh, let's move it into the interiors of the packaging then. Opening up the phone, right up top is the handset itself. We won't talk about this immediately. Let's see what else is in the box and then we'll get back to the phone. Take out the cover and uh, there is clearly something included in this packaging. So this includes all the regular uh, data like the micromax.com which has a couple of games and uh, videos that you can download. It's got the SAR information uh, which basically states that this phone complies with all the Indian SAR guidelines and uh, that's about it. It doesn't really specify the exact information regarding the SAR values. It's also got some marketing material for other Micromax products, especially those in the Canvas series of uh, tablets and phones. You get the warranty card, you get a user guide and also a screen protector a microfiber cloth and a little squeegee which uh, helps you apply the, uh, the screen protector to the phone. Moving on, there's another box underneath this. Now, this box it states that it includes a charger, a USB uh, adapter I think and the headphones as well. Let's take a look at that. So yeah, you've got the micro USB cable. A charger, the charger is, uh, well, let's see what it's rated for. So there's a charger in the box. The charger is rated for 1 amp. That means it's a pretty slow charger, to be honest. Uh, it's got an indicator LED on the side. But this phone isn't going to be charging up very quickly with this charger. You also get a regular pair of in-ear headphones with the in-the-box content. So that aside, you there's nothing really else in the box. So now that we are done with the uh, basic packaging material of the box itself, let's see, uh, let's stop, let's move to the over to the phone then. Now that we've gone through the packaging material of the Micromax Canvas 5, let's take a look at the hardware itself. Now the phone has 2.5D curved glass up front and it looks absolutely gorgeous even though the surface is very very glossy. It's got a 5.2 inch display, it's a full HD panel, uh, there's a 5 megapixel camera up front and uh, let's move to the side of the phone then there is a metallic band running all the way through you get the power button and a volume rocker uh, at first glance the power button doesn't seem to offer very good tactile feedback but this is something we'll come back to in a review there's nothing really going on on the left the top of the phone has the 3.5 mm audio jack while the bottom has the micro usb connector as you would expect over at the back uh, you will spot the camera module the dual LED flash and also that the phone is uh, has got a leather like finish. This is pleather of course, this is not real leather but it feels quite nice. Um, it's not the most high quality leather that we've come across on phones but it does offer a modicum of protection. It's slightly grippy, it won't really slip out of your hands. You've got a nice and shiny Micromax logo as well which we're not really fond of. But anyways, let's uh, boot up the phone and see how long this takes. Switching on the phone, you get the Micromax logo and a part by Android logo that you expect from this. Uh, while the phone is booting up, let's uh, run around with the specifications of this device. It's uh, got a 1.3 GHz MediaTek Octa-Core processor, there's 3 GB of RAM and 16 GB of storage built into this device. This is a dual, uh, dual SIM phone. We'll remove the back cover in a bit and take a look at the rear of the phone. 
there's also a 2900 mAh battery on this. Uh, now that we've uh, gone into the phone, uh, booted the phone, as you've seen this was pretty fast and uh, yeah, the phone is nice and smooth. All around the interface layer is, well it's, it's what you expect from a, a Micromax phone, very iPhone inspired in the form that it does not have a dual level app hierarchy, this is not stocked by any stretch, it's got custom app, uh, icons all the way through. So the phone is running on Android 5.1 Lollipop. Now uh, regarding the, the smoothness of the UI, this is, well this is just a brief hands on, this is the first time we've switched on the phone on camera and uh, clearly this is something that remains to be seen and something that we'll have to gauge during the course of a full review. Uh, we mentioned that the phone has 16 GB of storage and out of that there's about 10.75 GB available. Uh, the phone does support micro SD expansion and you can use USB OTG as well. So there's that. Uh, this is a dual SIM phone of which only one SIM card supports 4G and the other supports 2G which is a bit of a bummer. There is a whole load of pre-installed applications in the form of bloatware and yeah well you can't really get rid of most of them so best of luck with that. Uh, some of the more prominent ones is uh, Clean Master and this the quicker app as well. Uh, you can probably just install a custom interface, uh, a, a custom launcher on top and uh, try to hide it as much as you can. Um, honestly speaking, we on Micromax Canvas 5 uh, seems like a really nice phone in the hand. Uh, the UI related idiosyncrasies aside, our initial impressions based on what we've uh, experienced with the phone so far and its really initial ex impressions is that the phone is, uh, well at least in terms of hardware, it feels very very nice. It could prove to be a decent competitor to the likes of the Moto G. Now uh, as we mentioned, you've got the micro SD card slot here, you've got two SIM card slots and there is a 2900 mAh battery which is sealed in. Uh, 2900 mAh and well relatively low end specifications means that this phone should last a while. Uh, this 5.2 inch screen is a full HD panel, very nice and bright and vibrant and especially because of the hyper glossy finish it, it provides a very multimedia friendly experience but that said it is extremely fingerprint prone and you're going to have a lot of trouble getting rid of those on this device. We haven't really talked about the camera and that's because the camera module seems somewhat special on this. It is a 13 megapixel sensor and it has face detection autofocus which is a very handy feature to have. Uh, you can expect focus times under 0.5 microseconds which is as speedy as it comes. You should be able to get all your action shots very quickly. Of course there's the 5 megapixel front facing camera as well. That uh, basically covers all the basics of the Micromax Canvas 5. Uh, this was a quick hands-on and unboxing of the Canvas 5 and we'll have a full review for you very soon. If you have any questions about the device, please do let us know in the comment section and we'll be sure to, uh, to talk about it in our review. Thanks for watching.